hello everyone welcome once again to the full sense tube if you are new to this channel please don't forget to like share subscribe binge on our videos and i believe that it's going to be a blessing to your life to all our old subscribers we say thank you so much for the love and the support for always watching our videos we are really really grateful today's video is another let me target as opportunity video okay so this it's going to be a live demo of an opportunity at Oregon University in the United States. And this is for anyone on this channel or anyone on this channel who knows anybody who is interested in doing a PhD in special education. This is also fully funded, just like the ones we did before for Michigan State University and Penn State University. This is also fully funded. So this is a great opportunity. I'm going to do a live demo, so please come with me. Let's let's look at the opportunities. Let's look at what you are going to get if you are able to apply to this university and if you happen to be selected. So come with me. Yeah, guys, so this is the opportunity I was just talking about at the University of Oregon, and it's in the College of Education. And this is a fully funded PhD in special education. So let's just uh, read a little bit about uh, the program about University of Oregon and the special education program. I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to um, read the key stuff here and I leave it to you to continue to read the rest. So our nationally ranked University of Oregon special education program has a track record of preparing graduates to stand out in their careers and improve educational practices. The research resources and practices our program faculty conduct impact the field of education in the US and globally. So this is just University of Oregon talking about their special education program and the impact that it's making on the lives of students and in the life of the, the, their communities and in the life of the, um, the individuals who enroll, basically. So our doctoral training experience is unique and individualized. Our program competencies, so there's a link right here. You click on it, it will take you to the handbook so that you learn more about the program. So our program competencies are designed to support you to develop expertise in the domains of teaching, um, service, and research. You know that if you are doing a PhD, uh, most of the time, people would opt for teaching careers, or people can also work in industry, and people can also decide to do research or sometimes we do teach and research at the same time also work in the community. Yeah? So working with your advisor and other program faculty, you create a plan that will provide your expertise in the areas you are interested in studying while being exposed to all of the service and research experiences our program and faculty conduct. So guys, let's let's move right here to the really really juicy part that I know most of you are <laughs> most of you are waiting to hear. I mentioned earlier that this is a fully funded PhD. So as you can see here, all admitted students receive 4 years of funding and this includes tuition and health insurance coverage, okay? So guys, this is very juicy. There's going to be an information session on this particular program this phd in special education program so as you can see it's going to happen on wednesday november 2nd and this is um the, here's the time right here and here's the link to register so if you want to learn more about the program before you apply here is where to go to register for the open house that you're going to have about the program and yeah so basically the program is targeted at investing in new special educators with innovations to realize equity so the abbreviated form is inspire so let's learn a lot let, let so let's read a little bit about this project inspire so project inspire will prepare five scholars to build expertise in implementing and researching mtss in high need and diverse schools Inspire scholars will complete specialized coursework in, in implementing evidence-based special education practices in diverse contexts. Scholar competency development will be anchored by a professional seminar that explicitly examines links 
among culturally responsive practices, evidence-based practices, MTSS, and implementation science in high-need contexts. So, learning will be enhanced through implementation fieldwork, experiences, implementing MTSS with district and state teams, serving high-poverty schools. So, this is basically about the INSPIRE program, which is the fully funded PhD in special education and what it entails. So guys, um, I encourage you to, so guys, I encourage you to read more about it. I'm just reading the key things that you need to know. I cannot read everything. So yeah, let's move on. So University of Oregon is saying that we have a proven track record of students completing in less than five years and our graduates obtain leadership positions in the following areas. And if you're into academia, if you know about academia, you know that if you are able to complete a PhD in less than five years, it is commendable. It is an achievement. So they are telling you that if you get onto this program, you have your, uh, you, you, there's a possibility that you're, you're going to complete your program in less than five years. So this is what their students are saying. So this is more testimonial. So if you want to learn about what your students are saying, I encourage you to, to read more about that. And let's go to the, um, already you see that is fully funded. I think I already mentioned this, that is fully funded. And we saw that right when I was reading below that it is indeed fully funded. And this is, uh, they said they have an impressive research so it's right here they have a unique and individualized doctoral training experience so they have an individualized plan of study and you can learn, and you can learn more about this in their handbook and they also have collaborative learning environment so this one to they are saying that each year approximately four to eight students are accepted and work with one another using a cohort approach to create a collaborative and supportive learning experience. So I was in a cohort myself for my PhD and there are definitely advantages to being in a cohort. You have people that are like you, that you can, you know, learn with, you can study with, you can encourage it each, you can encourage each other and so on and so forth. So if you're, if you are successful getting into this fully funded PhD in special education program, you are not going to be on your own. You are not going to be on your own at all. You're going to be in a cohort. So that to me is really, really good and something that you should, um, take advantage of. So this is their handbook right here. If you want to learn about the program, here's the handbook. You just click and read more about it. Um, what else? The, the information session I already told you, you can register here. It's happening November 2nd. Um, this time it's in PST. So please convert it to wherever you are in the world so that you know the exact time that is happening. Now let's look at apply now, apply now, apply now. Yes. So right here we have the deadline application review for this doctoral program begins December 1st. Okay. For fall 2023. So they're going to begin reviewing people's applications December 1st. So if I were you, I would aim to submit my application before December 1st or on December 1st. But if it's too tight for you and you're not able to do that, additional applications may be considered until January 3rd. So this is me. So when, when you see me, it means that it, it, it can happen or it cannot happen. It's not guaranteed. That's why I'm saying that if you are able, definitely try to meet the December 1st deadline. But if you are not, Hey, you can email them and ask for an extension. I'm not saying email and say, I want an extension to February. No, they told you it's right here until January 3rd. So yeah, try as much as possible to, to meet this, this, this deadline. Um, the application portal will open in mid October. So it's already opened guys, um, application instructions. So I'm going to go over this. Uh, so right here, they're saying you can complete the UO division of graduate studies, online graduate application. And there's the link right here. You click on it. There's a non-refundable application fee. So for domestic students is $70. And if you're an international student, is $90. So this is an application fee and you can pay by credit card or e-check. You need to pay the application fee before you are able to submit the application. Guys, this is worth it. Like I said in my earlier video, most schools in North America will require you to pay an application fee. Now, the thing is, 
the benefit you are going to get if you are successful will be more than $90. When I was applying to my PhD, yes, I paid an application fee. Okay, so you do not need to complete the online application in one sitting. You will be able to log in and view updated each section of your application until your payment is made. Once the fee is paid, your file is officially submitted to the department. So yeah, and within this online application, there are several sections to fill out, including your personal information, educational history, residency, and names for professional references. Okay. So then your supporting documentation, you will also have to upload the following documents as part of your department application. So they will ask you to upload your resume or your CV. Um, things like work experiences in um, education. Okay, let's let's start from here. Your CV should include the following information, beginning with most recent education, including degree and institution with date of graduation. And here we have your work experiences in education, uh, organizational affiliations, there's presentation at conferences or workshops, any other relevant professional information, publications, if any. So this is like your CV. Okay, so they need you to upload your CV when you are applying. And then you need a professional goals statement. Okay, so this is similar to a motivational um, statement. Some people say motivational statement. Some people say professional goal statement. Some people say personal statement. Um, so professional goal statements is more targeted towards what you have achieved when it comes to your profession, your professional goals. So the admission committee is interested in your professional goals and reasons for advanced study. So it's more like, like I said, like a personal statement. Okay. So your statement should address the following questions. So here they are asking you to address specific questions. Okay. Why are you interested in a PhD in special education? So don't just get up and be writing anything. Okay. They are guiding you. They are giving you specifics questions that they need responses to. You can also check my video on how to write a personal statement. Most of the things are similar. So you can get some insight from there. Come here. Also look at the questions they're asking you and make sure you are responding to the questions. So number one, why are you interested in a PhD in special education? For example, specific research interests or career goals. What's your career goal? What are your research interests? Is it aligning with why you are interested in a PhD in special education? Now, number two, how have your past experiences prepared you for success in a PhD program in special education? Okay. So for example, your research experience, technical and or professional writing, teaching in higher education, practice in special education or related disciplines, leadership positions. How have all these prepared you for success in a PhD program in special education? Number three, why is the program in special education at the University of Oregon the best fit for you? I really like how these guys are guiding you to write a strong professional statement. They have specific questions. They just need you to respond to the questions. So I encourage you to read the questions well, understand, understand. <laughs> guys, I need water to drink. Understand the questions and make sure you're responding. Okay, so... Um, that is it. And they also need your writing sample. So those of you, of course, you want to do a PhD. So I am assuming that you already have an undergraduate degree. You have a master's degree. You've done coursework. You've written a thesis. Or if you did not write a thesis, you have some kind of um, writing, your assignment, etc. If you have uh, written um, a manuscript, if you have published a paper before, the writing sample so they need you to submit one so read more about writing sample here oh i can quickly go through it let me quickly do that um the admissions committee is interested in reviewing the quality of a professional writing writing samples can be an undergraduate thesis master's paper university course paper published journal article book chapter draft manuscript or published media article you have written like i said it is preferable but not required for the writing sample to focus specifically on topics pertaining to disability so if your writing sample pertain um focuses on topics pertaining to disability it's preferable but it's not 
not mandated it is not a requirement but my assumption is if you are looking into doing a phd in special education then it means that you've done an undergraduate degree that's kind of related to special education or disability in a way your master's also is in that area disability special education or you know related fields and so chances that your writing sample will focus on anything related to special education or disability or um interventions or behavior support is high okay then they also need statements about experiences with individuals with disabilities so the admissions committee is interested in a one to two page description of your personal and or structured experiences with individuals with disabilities including efforts to increase equity right so if you are somebody who is looking at doing a phd in special education um chances that you have interacted with individuals with disabilities is high so they want you to write a one to two page description of your personal experiences with anybody with a disability and your efforts to increase equity you know so please emphasize professional licenses or certification so if you have a license you are licensed in this or that and you have certification in any area related to special education you can also include that okay then letters of recommendation of course we we know what this is about you need letters of recommendation um, um from three people who uh, from from three people so each recommender will receive an automated email prompt directing them to an online system for, for for providing input on on you and submitting a letter so most of the time three people you would want to think about your supervisor like your anybody who has taught you maybe at the undergraduate level maybe at the master's level if you have some work experience maybe your your uh, supervisor at work can also write you one and so just make sure you get three uh, letters of recommendation. Then, of course, your official transcript. The university will be asking for this and for your English language proficiency. So if you went to school in Ghana, and I'm using Ghana again as an example because I'm Ghanaian. I went to the University of Ghana for my undergraduate degree. And the mode of um, teaching is English. The language that is used to teach is English. So... Uh, you don't need to um, write any IELTS or TOEFL or anything like that. You just need to go to the language center. Yeah, I think it's called the language center and get a letter. Just a letter stating that you were taught for four years in English. And the same ha the, the same is applicable to whoever is watching this video from Nigeria, any, any part of the world. Just something to show that you are proficient in English. So I think I'm going to end my video here. I am going to drop the link to University of Oregon, College of Education, PhD in Special Education that is fully funded. The link will be there so just follow the link i encourage you to give it a shot if this is something that you think is for you if you are interested in this area if this is not for you you have friends family you can also share with them so that this opportunities can be you know beneficial to to someone out there so thank you so much for watching this live demo please like the video share subscribe support this ministry support this ministry we are trying to help people it's completely voluntary so support us by sharing so that people's lives will be impacted thank you very much and see you in my next video bye